What's going on guys, it's Trevor back in here bringing another video. So this time we'll be doing a video talking about uh, the Fedor situation. Uh, talking about the fight with Hendo and whether or not I think that uh, Fedor should uh, should retire. So I've done a lot of videos, you know, if you guys have been with me with my past account, you know, talking about Fedor it, through the Verdum loss to the Bigfoot Silva loss to now the Hendo loss. Um, I thought, you know, I'd just uh, do a vid another video just kind of finalizing my thoughts on it and, you know, also talking about the future, what's going to happen with him if you guys don't know. So, at this point, really, he's been cut from Strike Force. Okay, so Zufa Force. He's been cut from Zufa Force. And, um, you know, so basically, Strike Force at this point, it's funny because uh, six months ago, uh, before Strike Force was bought out by the UFC, you know, Strike Force was looking promising. It was looking very promising. I mean, the Heavyweight Grand Prix was going great. You know, they had, you know, all kinds of stuff going on. Everything was just looking fantastic. Nick Diaz was putting on a great show. Uh, and six months later now, we have almost no fighters left in Strike Force. Fedor's gone. Nick Diaz is gone. Alistair Overeem's gone. So, you know, um, topic for another video, but uh, Strike Force is almost completely dead at this point. I mean, we'll see after the Heavyweight Grand Prix and stuff, that kind of stuff. We'll see if Zufa wants to continue Strike Force or if they just want to take all the fighters that they can. Uh, Fedor kind of got backdoored in this situation. Uh, and what I mean by backdoored is the UFC wasn't able to actually purchase uh, or get a contract going with Fedor for fights. So instead what they did was they backdoored uh, all of the fighters in Strike Force and they bought Strike Force. So even if Fedor didn't want to work for the UFC or yada yada yada, um, as soon as UFC Zufa bought Strike Force, he's now working for them. So he's been cut. He's you know he's done from Strike Force and um, you know should he be cut? Fedor is kind of one of those fighters like Randy Couture or Matt Hughes and these guys, Vanderlei Silva. No matter how many times he loses or whatever happens. You know, you really shouldn't cut him. I mean, even if you put him on the undercard, you know, he's going to have a big draw. He's going to, and maybe give him an opponent that's not, you know what I mean, top level, you know, that's sort of close, close by. He'll always be a draw. He'll always, people will always want to see Fedor. So M1 Global is going to continue through Showtime to put on fights with Fedor because they have a contract with Showtime, apparently, not with Strike Force. So they don't have to do shows through Strike Force. They're going to do M1 Global, some shows in uh, Russia, it looks like, with Fedor headlining as the, uh, you know, the main attraction in the main main event. Um, you know, it looks like he'll probably still be fighting at heavyweight, and it uh, looks like uh, he'll still be doing his thing. Uh, at this point, I think Fedor really needs to either change up everything he's doing or retire. And, uh, you know, everything about him is just, at this point, is not looking good. Um, you know, a lot of people were talking like, there, I heard a lot of nonsense before this fight, like, oh, Fedor's looking like he's in the best shape ever, this and the other thing. Okay, I got to make something very clear here, okay? And I don't care if, uh, you know, the person who said it is, uh, you know, the head commentator of yada, 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 sports, whatever, okay? In, in which case, a lot of them were, okay, who said this, that Fedor was looking better than ever. Fedor was looking like he's in, he was in the worst shape of his life. This was a heavyweight fight against Henderson, okay? He looked horrible, okay? He lost weight, but hardly any of that was was fat. He was still chubby, okay? And he lost muscle mass, okay? That's the worst case scenario in his situation. As bad as things were in the Verdum fight, and as bad as things were in the Bigfoot fight, he lost even more weight in the Hendo fight. And it was all muscle mass almost. I mean, if you look at the pictures, you can tell that, you know, what he lost was mostly muscle mass. As if he's not training at all. He's not training whatsoever. I mean, you know, as, as much as M1 Global tries to say, oh, he's training, he cares about this, he cares about that. If you watch some of the interviews after the fight, you get to see that basically what Fedor says is, you know, the worst things can happen. You know, it's not that big, it's not that big of a deal. You know, it's not the worst thing ever. You know, uh, my daughter's okay, my kids are okay, this kind of thing. So he's just not, he's not concentrating on training anymore. He's not concentrating on fighting. At least that's what I see. Okay, he doesn't look like he's training. He hasn't looked like he's trained in years. Okay, uh, his strength looks terrible. Um, you know, his speed is now starting to, to wane. And he's, you know, he doesn't have the speed anymore. He doesn't have the killer instinct. He doesn't, he also doesn't even have the technique. So is he even training at all? Um, I almost think he's just, you know, a couple weeks out from the fight, like maybe a month out from the fight, he's like, oh, I'll train a bit. And he starts training like a little bit or a couple hours a day or something. And then he goes and he just fights, you know what I mean? Like, that's, to me, that's what it looks like. I mean, it's hard for a guy to retire, uh, even if he's lost, 
He's lost the will to do it anymore. I mean, Fedor doesn't have to keep doing it. He doesn't owe anybody anything. I mean, he's, you know, he's fought 30-something fights, 31 wins, um, 35 fights, 36 fights. He doesn't have to do anything at this point. You know, he can retire. But I guess he's getting paid, you know, a ton of money. I mean, this guy's getting paid. He's the highest paid mixed martial arts fighter in the world. So he's getting paid millions of dollars per fight. So obviously, if you're getting paid millions of dollars per fight, then you, you know, you're going to probably keep doing it uh, to a certain extent until the damage is bad enough where, you know, or if you're just getting killed at fight after fight after fight, then you have no choice but to retire. Um, so at this point, I really feel like he should retire. Uh, he shouldn't continue to fight whatsoever. Um, you know, if they put on freak show fights with him in Russia, uh, you know, with, against giants and this kind of stuff that barely have any, you know, Hongman Choi type opponents, uh, you know, like, it's kind of hard. You know, I'm I'm a huge Fedor fan, always have been, probably he's my favorite fighter. He has been for a long time. Um, but he needs to either get serious about MMA again, because he's not, even if they try to say he looks like this, and he'll say, no, he doesn't. He does not look like he's in good shape. He hasn't looked like he's been in good shape since Pride folded, pretty much. Um, or maybe, you know, since uh, the uh, Tim Sylvia fight. You know, since then, he hasn't looked like the old fader. So this obviously isn't the same guy that we used to we used to see compete. And, uh, you know, I think he needs to retire. You know, uh, if we, you know, if he puts on some more fights in Russia and that kind of stuff, you know, I would really like to see some improvement. Or even me, I'm going to probably stop watching. You know, even because he's going to be, who's he going to be fighting in Russia? He's going to be fighting no name fighters, or he'll be fighting guys like Todd Duffy and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, like, he should win those fights, but he's not fighting like, uh, like Fedor anymore. You know, he's fighting like an amateur. He's fighting like, he just doesn't have it anymore. So, those are my thoughts on the Fedor situation. Um, he, I don't think he should continue fighting at this point. I think he should retire. I mean, he did just lose to a 185 pound fighter. Now, granted, Henderson did weigh 204 at the weigh-ins, but or 206 at the weigh-ins, but um, <laughs> 206, you have to understand, 206 without water, with a sauna for like four, like couple you know a couple hours and a couple jogs and not eating for a couple days, that's 185. Okay, you know that's easily 185. You can easily lose 15 pounds of water in a day. A 205 pound man can easily do that, and after not eating for a couple days, can easily be 184. So, Fedor got knocked out by a 184-pound guy. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, it, it's over, in my opinion. He needs to stop fighting. Let me hear what you guys think. Uh, at this point, you know, yet again, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Should Fedor retire? Are you going to watch his fights in Russia? Um, you know, I might give one fight a chance. Depending on who the opponent is, I might check it out. But I'm definitely not going to pay for it. I'm definitely not going to, you know, I'll probably just watch it on the internet or something. I mean, you know, it's kind of like at this point, it's like, wow, really? You know, like, man, you know, I, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, I guess that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace.